ESPN.com has released their Week 3 NFL Power Rankings. After the loss to the Chargers Sunday, the Seahawks fall to the number two spot, and the 2-0 Broncos are atop of the list. Bengals, Eagles, Patriots round out top five. Bay, let's take a good look at this. Mm. Focus. Mm. <laughs> What's your uh, take? I can't. My eyes cross <laughs> when I look at the top of this list. You don't like it. What's your take? Stephen A., I don't want to be too critical of our experts here at ESPN, but this is laughable to me. I know they're just going straight on records. Denver's 2-0, and and Seattle's now 1-1. One and one. Not really. Well, hey, Seattle. Cardinals on there. Seattle, that's, that's a fair point. Seattle is still in a league of its own. It took an extraordinary performance by Philip Rivers and Antonio Gates, and it took 118 degrees and in some spots on that football field in San Diego for the Chargers to pull off a monumental upset. Even though I think the Chargers are going to be very good, it was still a monumental upset. And I have to point out, Denver in the second half against Indianapolis in the opener struggled. Denver had a hard time with Kansas City last week, barely held off Kansas City at the end of that game. The same Chiefs who in their home opener got blown out by Tennessee. So how can I read into it that suddenly Denver's better than Seattle? Seattle is better than it was last year because Seattle's offense is much more explosive with Percy Harvin. They have more depth on offense, and I think their defense will slowly but surely be almost as good as it was last year. Are you sitting down? Uh-oh. You are going to No. He's going to agree. I'm about to say something that's going to shock, shock the mess out of you. Are you ready? You know who should be number one in the power rankings this week? The Cincinnati Bengals. The power rankings, Skip, are just about what's going on right now. It's not about who's the best team. It's not about who has the best record. Just this week, the Bengals going into week three beat the Baltimore they Ravens, did. who stomped on the, on the Pittsburgh Steelers, mm -hmm. and then... After that, followed that up Atlanta. by beating the Atlanta they Falcons, did. who've got all their pieces in place and beat and have beat the New Orleans the New Orleans Hornets with Roddy White, with Julio Jones, you know, with with, the, with Steven Jackson and those boys. Doesn't matter. The the Falcons went against Cincinnati and got beat up. I don't think Cincinnati's going anywhere, but we all know they're the most talented team in the AFC North, yet you still pick the Baltimore Ravens to win the division. I picked the Steelers as no, a wild card. I, I picked I Cincinnati. Trust... I had Baltimore I'm as sorry. a wild card, but that's okay. Okay, Go got ahead. you. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even pick them to make the playoffs. I picked the Steelers, you and did. look how that's looking right now. I'm just saying that we all know how hard I am on Marvin Lewis. 11 years, not a single playoff victory, but right now going into week three, the Cincinnati Bengals should be atop the power rankings. Okay, I, I'm not that shocked, except that you've been so hard on Marvin Lewis, and, and you, again, you're waiting and seeing for the playoffs, and they need to win a playoff right. game, obviously. Right, but right. But I, I hear what you're saying, but seriously, heart of hearts, is Cincinnati right now better than Seattle? No. No. But, but, go, but, but going into week three, with Cincinnati having beaten Baltimore and Atlanta and Seattle having lost to San Diego and San Diego looking the way that they looked against Seattle, I can't give Seattle the nod over the Bengals for the week three power rankings. Now, if the playoffs were to begin this week, regardless of positioning, I would pick Seattle over Cincinnati. But in terms of power rankings going into week three, Cincinnati deserves to be ahead of Seattle right now. Okay, are you sure that Baltimore and or Atlanta are really that good to, to measuring stick Cincinnati to the top of these power rankings. I'm not. Well, to me, to me, Atlanta is offensively, and Baltimore is in terms of guts, being rough riders, it being an, an, an AFC North rival. I think that supersedes what happened with Seattle against San Diego. Stephen A. Smith. We love what you had to say, but 